Are you saying you have some claim on the land, or what do you really? You should be very forthright. I pull out. Are you going to just tell it only thing that I do most of them? No, I don't. The Mohawk reoccupation of the land proposed for development in Caledonia is minute to the remaining Haldeman track. In 1784, Frederick Haldeman, on behalf of the King of England, proclaimed six miles deep from each side of the Grand River to be in possession of the Mohawks. The Grand River flows not only through Caledonia, but also Grand Valley, Fergus, Waterloo, Kitchener, Cambridge, Paris, Brantford, and Cayuga. To date, the Mohawks are arguing with the governments of Ontario and Canada and corporations for their rights to their land and natural resources. Canadian Hydro Developers Incorporated are erecting windmills within the Haldeman Track and the Mohawks seek cooperation and are being ignored. What is your concern with the process, sir? Probably. I haven't consulted with it. The Mohawks were forced to seek Canadian intervention because Canadian Hydro Developers Incorporated chose to ignore them. In July 2007, Dahoga Dote represented the Mohawk Nation on behalf of the Confederacy Chief and the Councilwomen at an Ontario uh, Municipal uh, Board uh, hearing. Uh, you know, it's all good. We don't have any problem. The Mohawks wish the development process and thereafter sustained to be eco-friendly. They also wish something in return for their natural resources. Well, they're on our land, on our sovereign land, and they're, they're building a big industrial park up here. You know, we were in 1900, I mean, they just kept building mills, kept them up all the trees, waiting for, left the mills in the river for us. Our, our grand they meeting the past, the 
Northwest Hydro developers left messes in the area that are polluting the waters. Located down the road from the hearing is this old hydro dam abandoned to rust away. We want to be absolute partners on this project. I know they're paying all the uh, landlords certain commissions, but this is our I could do it. What would you have me do for the Mohawk Nation? It's about phase two right now until they deal with us properly. And if I stop phase two and they deal with you, what, what generally would you want? from them when they deal with you in your terms? Uh, I ask Jeff for all of their financials, their cash flow projections, all these things, the environmental stuff. Well, you know, I have two problems with their environmental screen before it has to be a little bit here. The Hogadote later stated the Mohawks do not have the financial resources to take on Canadian Hydro Developers Incorporated and the Canadian legal system. However, he is doing whatever he can to stop the illegalities and unconstitutional actions. He says the Canadian legal system was designed by the rich so that whoever has the most money wins. If you wish to help, Tahogidote asked for you to contact him through his website, tahogidote.ws.